Does anyone have a question? Mm-hmm. Anyone have a question? <laughs> Hi, Stuart. Hi. <laughs> I have a question about um, new beginnings. When uh -huh. you have new beginnings, a new chapter in your life, when something new is starting, um, how can you uh, make room for the new energy so you can start building something new in your life? How can you um, let go of the past energy so you can welcome all the new things that you're receiving. Well, that's, that's what this class is for. I mean, in order to build a system in yourself that's strong enough to do that, letting go is always a problem. We have to learn how to surrender graciously and let go of all the old that's inside us to make room for the new. And it requires a system, it requires a chakra system that's very strong, that becomes highly developed. And it requires a kind of consciousness where you realize if you're full of yourself, there's no room for anything else. So you have to let go. You have to finally arrive at a place inside where you're capable of transforming the old you into a, a you that is open to receive the Shakti, the energy that's being given in these classes. Now, this is not easy because we're really, you know, we're not masters at letting go. We're masters at holding on. <clears throat> we hold on to everything. And the reason for it is familiar. We, you know, we live with it. We live with this person. We're familiar with a lot of the stuff that goes on inside ourselves. And yet most of that stuff becomes a limitation and keeps the newness, the freshness of Shakti, of energy from coming in. So the process is very simple. It's really one of building an inner life that is strong enough to do it. If you're grounded and centered in the chakra below the navel, your heart is open, mind is quiet, the throat is open, you're not going to have any problems letting go of all the old patterns and habits so that you can completely refresh your inner life and take it to a whole new level of creativity. Now, I'm not saying this is easy to do. It's not. Mostly because we're so familiar with the person that we live with and any kind, I mean, I always kid around, go try to change your toothpaste. You can spend a half hour standing in front of boxes of toothpaste to make a decision. You know, uh, anything you change, you know, anything you change, it's always letting go. Of, so you have to let go of something else. And that's difficult for people to do. Yet essential because the old gets stale. The old gets stagnant. And stagnant energy, you know, 
Well, you know, it's like the uh, the idea of a brook flowing down the side of a mountain. You know, anyone can go and drink from the water. It's fresh water. But it becomes a lake. Can't drink the water. It's stagnant water. Attracts disease. It attracts all kinds of stuff that could make a person sick if they drink the water. If the Shakti doesn't flow inside a human being, it gets stagnant and it attracts, you know, all kinds of uh, negative stuff. And that's the work. The work is to let go, to open, to build a system in yourself that can do it. So my classes are for. It's all there for. Because if you manage to do this, you're going to have a spiritual life. If you don't manage to do this, you know, you'll never reach the highest levels of what it means to function. You're like a human being. And again, whether it's what I do or somebody else teaches, a person has to arrive at that level in their life where they're capable of letting go. What do we hang on to anyway? Everything we hang on to just takes us right to the grave. You know, it really does. Wait till you read this next uh, thing I've written. I hope you'll go and read the, you know, the, the, the next uh, Tantra piece. It's pretty powerful. And it's kind of about this. It also has a great photograph of an incredible work of art. Extraordinary. Man was a great genius who painted it. Now, this is a little intimidating. It's a little scary. It's a little, can I do it? Or do I just want to settle into the old me and live with the old me? And, And, you know, let anything new in me just fester, you know? I love letting new experiences come into me. I just love it. First of all, it let, makes me let go of everything else in order to allow them to come in. And secondly, it's just a fresh way of approaching the world. I mean, suddenly the world has a new energy, a new vitality about it. Does anyone else have a question? Thank you. You're welcome, dear. You're doing really well. And really, you have a tremendous gift in you. Just let it develop. You know, it's really developing. Does anyone else have a question? You would like to ask. There's one thing about, just to finish this up, one thing about bhakti, about love, about an open heart. It's not possible to keep the heart open unless there is newness and freshness inside you. And if you fall in love with somebody, it's the freshness of that person, the newness of that person in your life that really opens the heart. You know, and it should be with anything, the food we eat, the people we, you know, hang around with, the parents, friends, you know, the whole purpose, it's easy to find the old in somebody. 
it's very difficult to find the seeds of God in another human being, that which is fresh and alive in them. And every human being has something inside them that's fresh and alive, or they wouldn't be alive. I mean, some people are pretty wacko, and some people are, but there's always something in them. You know, there's always some mysterious energy in every human being that sustains their life. And part of the growth process is getting the ability to recognize that in people. Because the surface tension is very easy to identify with. What's beneath it, understand that which sustains a human life, or any life, you know, an animal, an insect, a fish, or, you know, that which sustains that life is really the soul which is connected to spirit. And it could be just 2% of them is sustained by that. The rest of them can be just complete insanity. But if you're open inside, you find that 2%. And that's an amazing education to be able to do stuff like that. It also makes it much easier to relate to people that can be very difficult people. Does anyone else have a question? Okay, thank you. God bless you all. And there'll be a meditation tomorrow evening. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. God bless you. And, you know, I just had a birthday. And thank you for being in my life and for the best wishes I got from everybody from all over the place. Spent half the day looking at my telephone and greetings from people around the world or something. So God bless you all and thank you. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody tomorrow. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Esther. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Not you, Esther.